Hey everyone. Today we're going to talk about the traits of a female narcissist. I know this topic can be a bit controversial, but it's important to understand and recognize these behaviors in order to protect ourselves from being taken advantage of or manipulated. You should also stick around until later in the video, where I'll go a bit more in depth about what a female narcissist usually is like in a relationship. Trust me, this bit is just as important, especially if you think you're currently in or about to enter a relationship with a female narcissist. Welcome to our channel, where we talk about the journey to self-development. If you're new here, we trust you're going to love this video. And if you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Without further ado, here we go. So I'll begin by sharing a story with you about a female narcissist I once encountered. She was actually a colleague at work and seemed like the perfect office buddy at first. Always had a smile on her face, was willing to help out, and just had a great work ethic generally. But as time went on, I started to notice some red flags. She would constantly brag about her accomplishments, belittle others for their mistakes, and would only do tasks if they benefited her in some way. There were also instances of manipulative situations to make herself look good while throwing others under the bus if it meant that. It was clear that this lady was a narcissist, and believe me when I said it became exhausting working with her. But looking back, I realized that there were certain traits that I should have recognized earlier on. The first was the exaggerated sense of self-importance. This often manifests in the form of the narcissist constantly talking about themselves, their accomplishments, and their intelligence. They expect to be treated as superior to others and have a hard time seeing things from the other perspectives. Now, we all have a little bit of narcissism in us. It's a natural part of our ego and helps us feel good about ourselves. But when it becomes excessive, it can lead to some serious problems in relationships and daily life. So what does an exaggerated sense of self-importance look like in a female narcissist? Well, it's basically all about her. She thinks she's the center of the universe and expects everyone else to revolve around her. She talks about herself nonstop and brags about her accomplishments, even if they're not all that impressive. She's constantly seeking attention and validation and can't stand it when she doesn't get it. But here's the thing. This exaggerated sense of self-importance is often just a cover-up for deep-seated insecurities and low self-esteem. Female narcissists often use their grandiose persona as a way to hide their feelings of inadequacy and insecurity. Keep an eye out for red flags, like if she talks about herself constantly and interrupts others when they try to speak or expects special treatment and becomes angry when she doesn't get it. Next is manipulation. Female narcissists are skilled manipulators and will use various tactics to get what they want. They may use charm, flattery, or even intimidation to get their way. One common tactic is gaslighting, where the narcissist denies reality or makes the victim question their memory and perception. For example, a female narcissist may deny saying or doing something, even though it clearly happened. This can cause the victim to doubt their own sanity and feel confused and helpless. Female narcissists may also use guilt and shame to exploit others. They may manipulate their victim into feeling guilty for not doing something they wanted or for not meeting their expectations. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content about self-development and improving your life. It really helps our new channel and your kindness will go a long way. Female narcissists are also prone to envy and may try to bring others down to feel superior. They may engage in bullying or other aggressive behaviors to assert their dominance. As we've already talked about before, narcissists are notoriously self-absorbed and lack empathy for others. But that doesn't mean that they don't experience jealousy or envy. In fact, many narcissists are prone to envy because they're driven by a deep sense of inadequacy and low self-esteem. They may feel that they are not good enough or deserving of certain things, and this can lead to the envy of others who have what they desire. Female narcissists, in particular, may envy other women 
who have qualities that they lack or wish they had. This could be physical attractiveness, intelligence, success, or even just a happy and fulfilling personal life. And this envy can be a powerful motivator. It drives them to put others down or try to one-up them to feel better about themselves. They may also try to mimic or imitate the things that they envy in others, even if it means compromising their values or beliefs. But here's the thing. Envy is never a healthy or productive emotion. It can lead to toxic behaviors and relationships, and it eats away at our sense of self-worth. So if you find yourself feeling envious of others, it's important to take a step back and try to understand where those feelings are coming from. Are you comparing yourself to others in an unhealthy way? Are you not giving yourself credit for your accomplishments? Remember, we are all unique and have our own strengths and weaknesses. Rather than focus on what others have that you don't, concentrate on building yourself and celebrating your accomplishments. Next is entitlement. Since narcissists often feel they are superior to others and deserve more than everyone else. In the case of female narcissists, entitlement can manifest itself in several ways. For example, a female narcissist may feel entitled to attention and validation from others and become angry or upset if they don't receive it. They may also feel entitled to certain possessions or material things and become jealous or possessive if they don't get what they want. But entitlement isn't just about material possessions or attention. A female narcissist may also feel entitled to control and power over others and use manipulation or coercion to get what they want. And here is why it is important to recognize and address entitlement in ourselves and others. Entitlement can lead to a lack of empathy and consideration for others and create toxic or unhealthy relationships. I should mention that not all women with narcissistic traits are necessarily narcissists. And as you know, men too can be narcissists. Also, remember that individuals with narcissistic personality disorder often have a difficult time acknowledging their flaws and seeking help, so it's important to approach the topic with sensitivity and understanding. Now moving on to the bonus part of this session. What is a female narcissist like in a relationship? To begin with, she will often prioritize herself above anyone else. This may seem charming and confident at first, but is often just a facade for manipulation. In a relationship, a female narcissist may put on an act of being kind and caring when in reality, she only cares about herself and what she can get out of the relationship. One of the most common behaviors of a female narcissist is her need for constant attention and validation. You see her acting jealous or possessive of her partner, constantly needing reassurance that they love her. But at the same time, she may not be a very empathetic or considerate of her partner's needs or feelings. For example, if the partner disagrees with them or challenges them in any way, a female narcissist may try to twist their words or make them doubt their perceptions. They may also use emotional manipulation to get what they want, such as threatening to hurt themselves or playing the victim to get their partner to give in to their demands. Female narcissists also tend to blame others for their mistakes or problems. They may play the victim and try to make themselves appear perfect and blameless, even when it's clear that they're at fault. It's why their partners find it difficult to confront them about any issues in a relationship. It's important to recognize these behaviors if you're in a relationship with a female narcissist. And while it's not impossible to have a healthy relationship with a narcissistic partner, it does require a lot of patience and understanding. As always, I'm always of the opinion that professional therapy or support can help navigate this dynamic. Thank you for watching, guys, and I really hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or would like to share your own experiences, please leave a comment below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And if you find this information useful, Check out this other video from our channel too. Until next time.